Hi, my name is Alana, and my story today is The Magic Recycling Bin. It was midsummer, a nice day for Tina to walk her dog, Timmy. When they were almost around the block, Tina spotted a can. She threw it away in a recycling bin. She hated litter. It was bad for the planet. As they walked to the park, Tina saw a raccoon digging in a trash can. As Tina approached it, it disappeared. She peered in where the raccoon disappeared and accidentally fell in. Timmy saw her and frantically jumped in. They teleported into the Mercury dimension, where no one recycles. She asked Timmy, where are we? She expected him to bark, but he could speak. Timmy spoke Scottish British. He said in a mixed accent, we must find that raccoon. His littering will destroy all fresh air with toxic stenches. Tina agreed. They sought off to find the raccoon. As the twosome looked for the raccoon, they saw litter everywhere. Part of the neighborhood looked like a junkyard. The twosome asked residents if they saw the rascally raccoon. They said yes. His name was Rocco. Tina and Timmy taught the residents how to recycle before they set off to find Rocco. They found him in the junkyard. It smelled very foul. He was throwing trash everywhere. He was exasperated. Timmy climbed up the humongous heap to offer therapy to Rocco. Rocco calmed down and stopped his trash takeover. Rocco said, It all started when I was just a kid. I lived inside a cozy cardboard box until my box got recycled. I couldn't live anywhere else. I became angry. Tina was an awesome artist. She said she would help him find another cardboard box. Rocco directed Tina and Timmy to a special purple trash bin that took them back home. They hopped out of Tina's magic purple recycling bin. Tina collected craft supplies from her garage and created a beautiful cardboard suite for Rocco. Rocco thanked the twosome for all their hard work and promised to clean up the mess he made in both dimensions. The end.